Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back with another video. I don't know if you guys noticed this yet, but as you can see, the background is a little different from all my other videos. I'm currently moving into my new apartment. I have my bed on the floor at the moment, but I do have a box spring and a box frame coming in. So my bed will no longer be on the floor after today's videos. I'm gonna be filming three videos today, probably in the same outfit. So if you see those videos, just know like if you see me in this shirt, probably made the same day. I'm back in Michigan. I got three new pickups for you guys. I got two pairs of Jordans and I got one pair of Yeezys that I picked up. So today's video is gonna be about the Air Jordan 5 Fire Reds. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. Here we have the Air Jordan 5 Fire Reds. Here we have the Jump Man on the box. Here we have the shoe tag, shoe sizing. I went ahead and grabbed a 10.5. That is my shoe size. I don't know if I'm gonna resell these or not yet, but um, hopefully I can get them off my hands for a decent price. Let's get straight into this. So here we have the Air Jordan 5 Fire Reds. These actually ended up releasing a few months back. Retail was $200, but they actually did another restock. I guess you could call it a shock drop because not that many people knew about it. Some of my friends hit me up about it and I was like, yo, it won't hurt to go for these. Uh, there are actually three pairs of Jordans that released and it was it was these, it was the Air Jordan 4 metallic purples and it was the Air Jordan 11 reverse breads. Luckily enough, I was only able to grab this pair in the Air Jordan 11s. I really wanted the Air Jordan 4s because the resale on those were at like 400 something for a size seven. People were bidding on those. I guess people wanted to spend 400 plus dollars on those at the moment. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a pair, but I was able to get these starting with the leather here we have the white leather um the quality on these feels pretty cheap in my opinion i feel like if you were like exiting your car or something like that or entering it i feel like if you would have scratched it on something it'll probably like leave a mark like a scratch the shoe would be done at that point it just feels like there's not enough padding in it it looks like it's creasing easy this is a desktop pair but as you can see right there it looks like it's creasing a little bit but going to the midsole here we have the black midsole with the red followed by the icy bottoms um, in my opinion, I don't really like icy bottoms. They look cool when you first get the sneaker, but after you wear them a few times and they turn yellow, it's just, the shoes are just done I mean, there's ways that you can fix it, but it's just not to the point where like they're dead stuck. Here we have the Jumpman logo in red underneath the icy sole. From there, we have the Nike logo right here. But going from there, here we have the, the shoelaces. We have just your normal white flat shoelaces followed by the lace locks. On the lace locks, they decided to put the Nike right here. I know on some pairs, some other Jordans, the lace lock usually says like Jordan or it just has like Nike swoosh or uh, just other things like that. Going to the shoe tongue, we have just the normal red Jumpman. The shoe tongue is kind of thick. Um, it could just be this pair, I don't really know. But on the inside of the shoe tongue, we have the Air Jordan. Flip that, it says Air Jordan. I don't really know why that's there. Maybe because back in the day, people used to wear it with the tongue just hanging out i don't know it's pretty cool i like it it's actually my first pair of fives that i own i'm not really a fan of the fives although i do want the michigan fives because those just look fire and um going to the back of the sneaker on the heel tab we have the nike with the nike swoosh logo the air beneath it but like i said the only flaw about this sneaker in my opinion is probably going to be the leather it just feels cheap um there's not enough padding in it i feel like and i feel like after one wear you know the bottoms they're just gonna turn yellow, especially if it's raining. If you live in a state where it's raining a lot, I know California, it barely rains there, but if I was still living in California, I would wear these and I'll be cool. I wouldn't have to worry about that. I don't live there anymore, so I would have to worry about it. <laughs> That's pretty much gonna be it for the sneaker review. I know you guys are waiting for the on feet, so I'm gonna go put these on feet, give you guys a little 360, show you guys what pants I'm rocking with it, and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. So I'll see you soon. If you haven't yet, make sure you click the like, click that subscribe button, also share this video with a friend. Share it to your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. really doesn't matter. It helps me out a lot. I appreciate it. From the Bronx, not Benny. I swear I don't even know why I did it. AP cost 150.